Today we've been tasked with the mission of getting my home theater's AV receiver into this hall where the PS3 currently sits. Now I know what you're thinking, Cam, that's pretty basic. Just pick her up and chuck it in. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. We're gonna have to actively cool this receiver because well, at the moment it's passively cooled. Unlike the Xbox, the PlayStation, which have a fan that helps cool them down, AV receivers just let hot air waft out the top. So if I go and jam this into a small confined area, it's probably gonna overheat and damage components. So I've got a plan A and a plan B, and hopefully at the end of today, we can chuck this receiver in that hole and uh, it'll be sweet. The plan A is to add some fans into the receiver. These are gonna add some airflow to help cool it down when it's in that tight, confined space. Now, how do they turn on? Well, we're gonna add a temperature controller. So the moment it gets too hot, then it will turn the fans on to keep it cool. But to know how hot it should get, we're gonna to have to take some readings. So I'm gonna watch some movies, it's gonna be a very hard task to do, and get this thing nice and hot. And then we're gonna take a temperature probe to find out just how hot the heat sink inside gets when it's in an optimal cooling position. And if we can get the fans to cool the AV receiver to the same temperature or better whilst in that hole, well then, mission accomplished. After watching a movie for an hour, the heatsink has warmed up to a nice 38 degrees with an ambient room temperature of 26. It's now time to unplug the many cables required for a Dolby Atmos home theater system and move the receiver to my workbench. Here's our parts for today's project. A couple 80mm PC fans, a 12 volt AC adapter, and the brains of the operation, a temperature controller. This reads the temperature from a little probe, simply put the tip at the hot part. There's also a DC jack for plugging in the power, along with a small project box to contain all of our wiring. Okay, now we're in the AV receiver and there's a ton of stuff we do not want to touch. But our point of interest is the big heat sinks up the front. This dissipates the heat generated and we're gonna assist it by adding fans to force airflow over the fins. That little temperature probe gets wedged into this heat sink. This way we can get an accurate reading of how hot the unit has become. Powering on for our demo, we can see the temperature controller is reading the room temp of 31 degrees. It's currently set to a 33 degree trigger. If I simply hold the probe, it'll rise with my body temperature. Now it didn't turn on at 33 degrees, which would be expected. However, it did turn on at 35. Once I cooled back down to 33, it then turned off. So from this, we can see there's a two degree buffer. This way the fans aren't constantly going on and off as it follows that 33 degree mark. Awesome. Now it's time to mount everything into the receiver. The temperature controller has been wedged into the project box and I can now mark holes to drill for passing cables through. Wiring in the fans and temperature probe and it's all starting to come together. And I'm going to use some double sided tape to secure it to the rear of the unit. And we now have a custom cooling solution. <laughs> So just watching the first movie since installing the fans, I cranked the speakers up to ensure the AV receiver was working hard and uh, the fans turned on and then it was probably about 30 seconds to a minute later, I felt the fans turn off. It's kind of hard to film because it's got to be in the cabinet for it to obviously get hot enough to then go on, but just take my word for it that the fans are coming on when it gets to 40 degrees and then turning off at 38 degrees. That's awesome, it means it's actually cooling itself and it's getting controlled inside that confined space. Very happy with those results. 
If you're interested in seeing more about my Dolby Atmos home theatre setup, then I have a video linked down below which Dolby shared. Yes, Dolby Digital, the ones that created the technology, shared my video of Bruce trying to catch virtual birds. That's all linked below. If you liked today's video, thumbs it, and if you loved it, sub it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.